Hello, everyone. Hi, and welcome. Welcome to the art show. Welcome to the high-res art show. Something happened with Twitch, and it didn't go live, so we had a super exciting intro. Oh, it was yeah. amazing. It there had were fireworks. so much energy. Oh. Yeah, like Nabil came in here and did a couple tumbles and it was some, unbelievable. some cartwheels. It was beautiful, really. And then they told us, oh, hey, um, no, there was an issue. We've been offline for the past, like, 30 seconds, so yeah, that's good. Yeah, production, production forgot yeah. to, uh, to press the live button as much as they pretend that they were actually pressing it. Yeah, but exactly. But welcome to the Smite Art Show. I am Hyra's Enna, um, and uh, that's uh, Hyra's Gavin, I guess. Hey, everyone. Still here. Still, still alive. Killing it, unfortunately. After all of those pills that I have slipped into your drink in I know. the morning, yeah. you're still alive. Yeah, it just makes me pee a lot, I strangely enough. That's a strange... Well, you know, I like to keep you hydrated, so... Okay, well... So, welcome everyone. Uh, Gavin, you want to give us a little recap of what's going on? Recap so, if you weren't here for last week's art show, which you should have been. <laughs> Shame on you. How dare you. That's what we said earlier, too. Yeah, it was funnier. It was more that. lively. Yeah, it really was. This is just awful. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> if you were there, we, we had... Uh, we didn't have that many submissions. We had about 48 submissions that we went through. Um, we did. We were still doing the um, challenge... Oh, Anna. Sorry. We were still doing the uh, holiday challenges with like a uh, kind of like family theme. Yes, we were. Um, so we went through that. Anna did a lot of drawing. We just saw the reveal for a Wheelix because that was the uh, dev talk yeah. uh, right before the art show. So exactly. we got to see Anna's uh, version of a Wheelix before. Uh, and I did finish it. Not on no. stream. Yeah. Kind of on stream. Messily on stream. But yeah. I did finish it She kind of panicked in the I last five minutes. Yeah, I completely forgot her tattoos, too. And you guys were, yeah. were so kind to be like, uh, you forgot her tattoos, you know. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are wondering, I am wearing an ugly holiday sweater because we had our ugly holiday sweater party today or, or holiday party today. Yeah, those and are actually so, green. Yeah, th these are supposed to be green, but as you can see, you can... Green screen. Yeah. Green screen, yeah. So, um, so yeah. Let's wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm gonna show. You turn on. Can yeah, you, you see can't, it. Kind you of. Can't really no. See. Well, you can kind of see it. Well, I guess you can sort of see it. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Guys. Yeah. Well, wait. What? What's happening? What are you doing, I production? Think, I think production is turning the green screen off for a second. Oh, are they? Yeah. 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 This is what we look like. Bland. Oh wait, hold on. Everyone can see my pants now. Yeah. Oh, oh god. Look at those things. Oh. 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 <laughs> Yeah, that was terrible. Look at them. They're great. They're terrible. Gavin actually went to the store and bought two different types of pants. And, and just then just cut them in half. and Went all Cinderella on them. So it is that's really cool. It is really hot in here because of is this. Is it? Thing. It's crazy hot. I'm here. feeling great. <sighs> okay. My fingertips are cold, though. But yeah, guys. <laughs> so, um, yeah, recap. We did all that. Yeah, Holiday we did that. stuff. We have some really exciting, uh, really cool submissions from you guys pertaining to the challenge. And we also want to give you guys... Um, some ideas about the challenge, kind of like an extension on that challenge because it's it's kind of huge and, and encompasses all of the holidays. So for those of you who can't quite figure out what you want to draw, uh, we've got some really good ideas. You can do holiday greeting cards with smite gods. So you can take, you know, a really funny greeting card, like something with, you know, an old lady holding a cat or something. Um, you can do something like that. You know, like funny greeting cards. You've seen yeah. them. Yeah. Or even the serious ones that are like, all your best wishes from the what Myers what? family. What you were like, yeah, it's I don't like know the, what to do with my hands. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, all the all the family is just like sitting on a couch or something, all wearing like a little bit. <laughs> Production. Production getting talking, all salty I right am now. talking ish about your family. No, I'm kidding. They're great. But yeah, and they're all wearing like matching turtlenecks. That would be really funny. I would love to see that. As my own personal request for you guys, please do a Smite holiday gift card or greeting card. Where they're all in turtlenecks. Where they're all in bright green or red turtlenecks, please. Please. Or I sweaters. Or just like, you know, terrible sweaters. Yeah, just like Handmade. ugly sweaters. And that's the other thing. Um design your own ugly sweater. Obviously you don't have to crochet it or knit it or make it. But, that but would just be cool. draw it. Yeah, design it on, on a Wacom or whatever you work on, piece of paper, and send that in. So that is an extension of the past uh, challenge that we gave you for the holiday, which will be ending uh, after Christmas, obviously. Wait, <laughs> no, 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 New Year's. Oh, and I actually get to tell you this, because I didn't remember to tell you this before <laughs> the art show. We actually briefly spoke about this, but I confirmed with production guys. You're leaving. Guys, next... <laughs> Actually, yeah. But uh, no. next week, um, we will be doing the art show on Tuesday yep. instead of Thursday, because Thursday being the actual, um, it's a, 
national holiday, and we will not be here, no, we and will neither not. will our production bros or anyone really at all. So um, we're going to be running a special holiday version of the art show exactly. on Tuesday. On Tuesday, guys. Probably around 4. We're going to have Thursday. to confirm this with the uh, production guys to make sure they're 100% okay with 4. But that's uh, that's a plan. <laughs> they so better be. And we'll, we'll tweet about it so you don't forget about it. Um, because I know I will likely forget about it. What did you say? Yeah. I forgot already. Yeah, I exactly. Just don't, mm -hmm. I just don't care anymore. But yeah, guys, so Tuesday we will be having the art show. Not this Thursday because Thursday is like Christmas... Christmas? Yeah, it's Christmas. Yeah, on I Friday think, that's, I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. It's all part that, of Saturnalia, whatever. That big one, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, guys, that's what we're doing. I will not be drawing this time around because... Um, we actually have a, a good amount, like 60-something pieces of fan art. You guys we do. did a good job this this week. Yeah, Proud so, Proud again, Proud. I'm holding out that um, the, the lack of, like, a ton of submissions that we used to get is just because you guys are still cleaning up and your final bits from uh, that one piece that you want to send for the holiday. We have some really good ones from this one. week, so some pieces that look like someone took two weeks to do, which is that's good. I yeah, like to see that. That's real good. So, yeah, do we want to do Ask FM, or do we want to just like No, we right actually have it? something special to uh, talk about. Oh. So, uh, SmiteShop.com is a, a community-run uh, like t-shirt group. Mm -hmm. They sell uh, Smite swag. Uh, yeah, look at the logo. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't know oh. where to put my fingers. Oh. There. Yeah, that. Um, but, yeah, uh, they are running a um, community T-shirt contest right now where you can submit a uh, design to their T-shirt contest. There's a whole bunch of uh, stuff right now. Um, you can go on Reddit and see uh, the project or the details, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just... I'm going to read off some stuff now. Read off, Gavin. I'm going to do it. All right, guys, ready? SmiteShop.com is pleased to partner with Hyrule Studios to bring the community an exciting t-shirt art contest. After SmiteShop.com launched earlier this month, there was a strong demand for additional t-shirt designs other than just Smite Gods. So the staff over at SmiteShop.com took your suggestions to heart and brainstormed a few ideas. During that time, we came up with the idea of getting our community artists involved with a Smite t-shirt art contest. That's a lot of Smite t-shirt in one paragraph. Yeah. Anyways, the staff encourages everyone to try their hand at the contest, regardless of skill level. So that means MS Paint, Git. Yeah, Wiley Wolf. Whoa, 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 Wiley, Wiley Wolf. I would buy. Wiley Wolf. I would buy a best of Wiley T-shirt, just God, like a yeah. ton of them, just all over. Ooh, damn. Get on it. Ooh, God, that would be great. Get I would on do it. Dennis Alvano artwork those. all over. Oh my, yeah, just my like. Shirt. A collaboration. Ooh, yeah. Oh, just a Smite Art T-shirt. We've got favorites on this show, guys. We have what, like Keep everyone's submitting. Our favorite. You might yeah. be a favorite too. Yeah, it's generally the people who submit a lot. Actually. Yeah. So the more we get, the more we. Yeah. So we guys, the more we get, the more the more favorite you will be. But um, oh, love that, love Thanks. that hashtag. Thanks, guys. Oh, guys, that's so rude. I wonder who started that. I don't know. Yeah. That's Anyways, weird. there's going to be cash prizing for the people who won first se or win first, second, and third okay. place. Also, there's gems for first through sixth place. So, yeah. Doesn't I know matter if you're sixth place, you're getting something. Yeah, you're getting something. I believe it is Everybody's 400 gems, something. which is pretty solid. Yeah, that's Especially solid. with the uh, Odyssey. You guys have seen that, Ooh. that Thanatos skin. Everyone wants it, so Ooh, you're going to need it. all the gems you can get to get that if you don't so already have cool it. Looking. It's so cool looking. Oh my god. And we actually have fan art of it uh, during the, the community farts that we'll be showing you later of said Thanatos skin. Yeah, I believe that is. I believe that's. Be more excited, dude. <laughs> that's okay. okay. Tone it down. Go. Yeah, okay. Jesus. Anyways, um, all the submissions are going to be emailed to smiteshop at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a bunch of requirements. Uh, I'm not going to go through them because they're boring. So you can find that on Reddit, yeah. or if you go to SmiteShop.com, they have con or they have in or, uh, information about the contest itself. <laughs> you know how many times so I'm just <laughs> you're just <laughs> awful at this. <laughs> so bad. Oh man, this is all professional, guys. We got a professional <laughs> camera. We got look at this fancy stuff all over you the place. You saw our intro. We got people over here going one, two, three, go, and we're just like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I cannot wait until you start reading off of uh, the names. The names? I'm just gonna have. I'm just gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna go to town. There's just your gonna, redemption. I'm gonna Kevin. read off of these now. Oh, are you? Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> what? Looking at that. <laughs> Anyways, guys. So that's oh. the uh, t-shirt contest. Be sure to get those submissions in. Uh, you can 
like contactsmiteshop.com uh, by going on their website. I'm sure they have contact email and everything like that on there. If you have any additional questions, we just wanted to promote it because they are a community website doing a community contest, and everyone loves winning money and gems. So get on it, everyone. Yes, exactly. Guys, I'm putting in um, some important information oh on chat. So I need to look over. So keep continue. That's continue, so Kevin. mean. That's continue. so unnecessarily mean, continue, Anna. Continue, <laughs> Anna's the worst. Yep. God, I wish we had a graphic. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's move into fan art. Thank you, production. Let's let's just keep this pain train rolling. That is a pain train, isn't it? <laughs> you got <laughs> you got a good ticket for it. Um, okay, the first one is uh, it's the ice. It's Isis. It's it's her little back thingy. That little that little thing. This is by Alex Camarena. Great name, especially that last part. Um, so yeah, pretty awesome. I'm trying to figure out the medium. I think it might be some sort of silvery, um, obviously gold uh, type paint. Um, we would love to know what uh, kind of canvas you used. If you used just like a piece of paper and just drenched it with paint or, or whatever it is that you did, it looks really cool. It's a really cool design too. There's no red, which is like what Isis usually has on that little arch thing that she carries around with her. So this is nice. This is a good color combo. It's very abstract, if you will. This is an old one, I imagine, from Artyom Prihodko, our darling Artie, who's awesome. And this is, was a Halloween pick, and he says, draw a picture for Halloween, please don't forget homework. So I guess you kind of forgot, but it's all right, because you, you gave it to us. So uh, this was one of the skins for uh, Cabrigals, the Frankenstein. That's so oh, sad. <laughs> 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 I just know there were like, uh, two of them. Super duper professional. Yep. Yeah, so I do love I that love he has this. like homework. Draw a picture <laughs> for Halloween. This is what Please we don't forget. Also, and then we get it in for like we get it in for the holidays. Yeah, that's perfect. Clearly, uh, that's okay have with me because Halloween is part of the holidays. And also, props to you for not having an actual like really really crazy knife, but getting a just butter, like a butter knife, anyway. knife covered in jam. Probably yeah, probably jam, and just making it look scary anyway. So good job, Artyom. Excellent job. It's nice to see you do a traditional piece as well. This next one by Chiwa is of our most recent goddess, a Wheelix. And she just kills it, as always. I mean, I don't even have to say anything. Just look at it. Let's take a moment of silence to appreciate this. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I did an actual second. moment of silence. <laughs> that was, that was it's because beautiful. Butthead over here started talking. So, thank you so much, Chiwa, for that. This next one is by Cynthia Cedar Morang, and it's Knox. And it's a lovely traditional piece on a notebook, uh, just black and white, which honestly, I like Knox's color scheme, I really do, but some of the pieces we've gotten where she's just black and white, I think it fits her even better, because she is just like pretty much that. She's either light or dark. There's no like in-between, so I love it. It's fantastic. And the detail in the candelabra and the feathers and the headdress, fantastic. There are a ton of Knox submissions as of recently. They should be. There's I love drawing her personally. So, uh, David Lopez giving us something to think about here. Something. Mercury. Something to think about. It. Think about it, guys. Come on. It's a, this is actually like a deeper thing. It's like global warming and everything like that. It's such a simple illustration for something so important, so intense. Moving on. This one is by Dennis Ovenio, one of my favorites. I specifically said that I was god of the underworld, not underwear. <laughs> I make that mistake get it. all the time when I put on underworld god, instead no one, of my oh underwear. My god. Uh, oh, I'm so tired. But anyway, I love this one. Dennis, you always do such an excellent job with the pen strokes and uh, just like traditional pieces on, on, or traditional art pieces on paper. You are the king of that. It looks so good. And it's really nice to see you show off your funny chops because we usually get more funny serious chops. stuff. But it's nice to see you do something <laughs> funny. And this is hysterical. This is really cute. So if you guys don't get it, let's. let's that would actually be a funny ass skin. Yeah, and I love the little troll that that, that uh, he put instead of oh, the yeah, uh, yeah. yeah good stuff. That's good stuff. Thug life. All right, this next is. one is by Ebate Shiptarit. Seriously, are you guys just like putting your heads on the keyboard, <laughs> slamming it on there, just to spite me? <laughs> but anyway, this one's Thug Life Thanatos. Very you, simple. You did it. Um, that one part. It's a little. 
we're moving on. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this next one is by Eli Werata, and it's obviously Scylla, but it looks like a grown-up Scylla or a male Scylla with the head shave thing style that's that's popular nowadays with the kids. Either way, really well done. And I like that um, down in the bottom left over there, you can see one of the dogs. I think that's supposed to be like um, kind underwater. of underwater. Yeah. He's just kind of like staring up at you like, I'm, I'm going to get you. Yeah, I'm going to get you. It's nice. It's very well done. I think it might be colored pencil or crayon. Either way, good job. This next one's by Felipe Robinson, and it's Thanatos. Really pissed off Thanatos. Yeah, seriously. He's, he's just just like, <laughs> I love though. I love that his uh, his facial expression, how it's so expressive. Obviously, when you when you get upset and everything and angry, you have all the wrinkles and everything, all the creases. Yeah. And he did it so harshly with it's such so, harsh lines. It's so like he did such a good job that I can hear it. Like, when I just look at it, I'm just like, yeah. I, I can just hear the, just like, uh, Gavin, that's uh, everyone, anytime you walk in anywhere. Just that sound. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Sometimes people throw up. Anyway, good <laughs> job, Felipe Robinson. I love it. Oh, man. This so is many, a nice little So many new, new people in chat. It's adorable. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> guys. Um, this one's by Francisco Castro, who in the past has given us really just detailed, simple line art pieces. And so it's nice to see him do some color as well. Well, he's actually given us color as well. And this is a nice crossover between Green Lantern and Apollo. It's nice. It's very fitting because that, you know, what's his face from Green Lantern? Hal is, is similar in personality to Apollo. And looks. Mm, delicious. <laughs> um, anyway, this next one is by Galen Dewberry. And it's Sun Wukong, and it's a precious little drawing of him. I like it. Also, $20 bills, holla. What? You should mail that Was in. that like a bribe? Like, if we <laughs> give this top pick, you give us 20 bucks because Listen, we might be able to work something out. Draw Sun Wukong as an adorable little chibi face. I'll give you $20. <laughs> Done. Love it. Good job. And thank you for posting um, all of your tools as well. We like to see Including a what you're working with. Like what you working with. <laughs> Um, this next one is by Grzigors. Grzigors. I'll just, I'll leave that there. Uh, and this is some of our popular skins. Well, we got Raw America. Um, oh, that's Thor over there. You've got Bastet. You've got Janus. You've got Rom. And you've got, um, Kabrakin. Just all chillin'. I, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I think they're, like, trying to get past a barricade. Uh, either way, it, it looks scanned in, and it looks really good. I would love to see this colored, so guys, always remember that even though you submit line art to us, you can submit it again colored, and we will take it as a new submission. Oh, yeah. So we never get tired of that, so please, color it in. And I think this, this is really an a, that was an Avengers style piece. What? Oh, yeah? Yeah, because, I mean, look at it. We got we got oh, that's the, right. the America Cap the America thing. with the mm -hmm. shield. We mm -hmm. got Agent Bastet. We got Thor being, of course, Thor. We yeah. have, oh, but this one's cool. We got uh, Kabraken as the Hulk. Oh, yeah. Fun well, stuff. that's very fitting. This next one is by Igor Dragachevic, and it is Chonga dancing. Dancing in the moonlight, everybody's dancing. No, continue. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that song? Yeah. yeah. yeah just Shut like that. Up, dancing something something. Oh, wow, your voice. Good God. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> this is beautiful. I'm trying to figure out. This person actually, um, Igor actually tweeted this uh, drawing to us, and I don't remember if it was digitally done or I think it might be some sort of watercolor um, or a mixture of, of a bunch of stuff but either way I love the style and I, I love the lineless style of it too it looks like a cutout it's gorgeous good job Igor killing it this wait hold on so it's Dragicevic Dragicevic? Dragicevic Vic. sorry this is what I need you we guys to do. It. Get on chat and spell out your names for me, please. This one's by Jordan Rhodes, and it's adorable. It's raw in an ugly Christmas sweater. This is a perfect example of what we would love for you guys to do as the extension of the challenge, to do um, gods in Christmas sweaters or um, Christmas sweaters and a greeting card. That's that's pretty much what we want you guys to do, plus the, uh, the initial like group thing. So this style is so cute. It's adorable, and I love the way you drew raw. I really like him in this style. It's always really hard for me sometimes to draw a beak forward. Um, you guys might know, like drawing like a beak from the front, it's kind of difficult sometimes without it looking super creepy. But you managed to make it really adorable. So, good job, Jordan Ritz. This next one is by Jordan Taylor, and it's Knox hanging out. And on her candelabra, this one's actually pretty, pretty intense. You got on the candelabra, you've got Shang Ah dancing. dancing. Away. Yeah, dancing away. So you want to start singing again? Dancing in the moonlight. Thank you. 
Hashtag <laughs> the production tried to mute her. They muted that was me. So good. Hashtag Anna stop singing. There you go, guys. There we go. Spam it. I'm not afraid. I'll admit it. That was on point. Production. Dance it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Too good. Screw these guys. I hate them so much. I'm gonna run in there and start singing. Just full out. <laughs> you can't mute me now. Just All right. This next piece Adam. by Jordy Wolf Clole. Uh, this one's really interesting because it's the love between, um, or no, it's Athena and Ares, which are brother and sister, aren't they? No. They're not? Uh, there's oh, no, yes, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're brother and sister. I just mix those up because so, I'm So, actually, person. no, it might be Aphrodite and Ares is what you tried to do, I think. Um, but the uh, the crown piece on top of the heart is, is very close to a Athena, that's what I yeah, thought. Yeah. So. But either way, this is very sweet. It's actually a really interesting um, concept to do. Like, yeah, it's good. Good job. This one's by Josh Basterecci, or Basterech. <laughs> <Okay>. Whoa. <laughs> Calm down. And this is, um, this is Arachne looking badass. This is so cool. The shading is insane. We, in the past, we've gotten some really impressive, um, Arachne pieces that have just been simple shading with pencil or colored pencil or whatever and just black and white. I honestly prefer like that too, so... This is insanely detailed. Very good job, Josh. And keep, be careful with, with the paper. It looks a little bit crinkled up top, so frame it, because it's so pretty. Definitely don't want to ruin it. So, good job. This next one is by Justin McClanahan. McClanahan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was looking. What the what? I was looking at the door and, and APCs. I thought you were just like in back, just in back of my hand, just <laughs> staring at the back of your hand. I was like, right. what? <laughs> this one's by Justin McClanahan. And guys, um, in the past, we've actually received posts from him um, that are in this style. He's actually like gotten even better at this. This is Sobek, if you can't tell. And he's done pieces of Aphrodite, he's done Anubis, he's done a bunch of them, and he's so good at this, at using the negative space and, and inverting the color. So, good job, Justin. As always, we really look forward to more. This one is by <laughs> Casey Tub. And I, I just think that that watermark looks so familiar. <laughs> Where have I seen that before? It's almost as if you're currently wearing it. <laughs> what? Um, this is supposed to be a Bakasura skin, if I'm correct. Um, that or it is a Jenna skin. I think I think he said Bakasura in the in the description. I think it might be. It would make a good skin. one of either, honestly. It's yeah. like an ethereal version of. Although I that really would actually make it cool. It would look a little bit like Janus, wouldn't it? But I think it'd be really cool if it was Bakasura because then the 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 metal chest plates open up to reveal like this sort of like huge plasma cannon and just you know kill people. So. You know. Or eat people with them. Or yeah, episode. or like suck them in, you know, whatever. Uh, this one is by Kevin Williams, aka Gavin's best friend ever. <laughs> um, this guy is just killing it with these drawings that are so fun and so detailed. Oh my gosh, uh, this one is of the Smite store, and he's the clerk, I imagine. And it's just a store with all the little. Hi, res me. Yeah, <laughs> hi, res me. I, love I wear that. I wear that same name tag when I go to conventions. Oh my god, that's so cool. Shut up. This is actually really interesting. It's like a it's like a toy store, a model store, and it's all of the um we've got some skins. Um we've got some really impressive uh we got Rom and Bakasura going out in the bottom down there. We got Al Kwong. And I love it that you added the Gavin and Enna little drawings up top in the top left. That's really cute too. So. <laughs> I love that I'm face palming. Yeah, right. That's super accurate. And this is a comic I think that he's not finished with quite yet. Um, yeah, he he said he was uh yeah, he's like working rushing on it. through it to try to get it done, yeah. but it doesn't look like he had time. I'm happy you didn't try to pull an all-nighter. Or maybe you did yeah. just to get here, because I remember you tweeted at us, and you were like, I'm going to do it. And if you guys are wondering what the, uh, what the, the what's it called? Oh, my God, I am blanking. The what's it called? Um, what the comic is about, um, it's uh, it's about Gavin, pretty much. Right? Well, I mean, it's got Gavin all of us in it. Gavin and, like, Smite and it's, everything yeah, it's like got, that. Yeah, it's got all of us in it. Yeah, so... It just starts with you being the bad guy. Yeah. That's the most important part. That is th the only important part. Um, this next one is by Kyle Kunz, and he kind of went a different route than he usually has done. He he does pixel drawings for us. I think he like blew up the image a little bit more. It's still kind of pixelated a little bit in the edges, um, but he decided to do just a bold line of some of the goddesses. Here we have uh, Nemesis looking awesome. So good job, Kyle Kunz. I think we had another one, but that's like further down. Don't worry. 
Um, this one is by Kylie Robson, and I personally adore this one. I don't know if she meant to keep it unfinished or if she was going to do... I actually do... really love that. I, I like it unfinished, it yeah, right? It's so good. I think it's great. Um, I would love to know what kind of markers you use. If you use Copics or if you use Prismacolors, because that gradient in the shoulder going from light to darker is insanely clean. How did you manage to do that with markers? What's what? And just the detail as well in the curvature of her personality, um, her clothes, the wrinkles of the clothes, her hair. Just it's insane. We are so excited to see more from you, and also we, we would love to see this colored. Unless you want to keep it like that, then you go, you go, girl. You do your thing. This next one is by Lauren McGavin, and it's Athena, just in a battle pose, about to go. And it looks like it's a small drawing, actually. Yeah. No. Adam, no. Adam just farted in here. God! God, you're the worst. Oh, that's going to waft over. Anyway, <laughs> this is by Lauren McGavin, and I love it. Very good job. Archa! Prepare yourself. <laughs> this one's by Lillian Reed, and it's Artemis. It's a very pretty, pretty Artemis at nighttime. At dusk. Or no, just night. Nighttime. Yeah, because the moon. So, we love it. Thank you so much for that one. This one's by Lily Maza. Maza. And it's Freya. I like the style, I really do, and I like the pose too. She's about to, to get it. I like that they did the full body or the full like one side body tattoo. Yeah. There's not enough people who like they'll get the leg and then they're like. Eh. Yeah, well, that tattoo is really daunting. Yeah, to draw. it's it's a lot to do. It is a mission to draw <laughs> that tattoo. My God, but excellent job. You did a really good job with this. This next one is by Luis Delgado, and it's Nemesis again, and I love it. It's on notebook paper. We we love stuff on notebook paper. That's a really cool little uh, little stance she's got going on. She's like, all right. You know. <laughs> Gavin's the you worst. Know. You know. You know what my favorite movie is? You know. <laughs> I got that joke from Myra's Andy. <laughs> so if you guys want to revolt, <laughs> go, go to him. God. <laughs> it's getting harder and harder to make it through this, guys. Yeah, I know. It it's just I'm gets worse I'm after so upset everyone. with my life. Uh, this next one is by Mermaid Mel, and it's Nua, Nudwa, as we like to call her. Um, no side boob here, but there is plenty curvy. Oh, she's actually cup. Look at that. Yeah, she's covered up really well. So excellent job. I like this. The pose must be her too. winter outfit. Yeah, this must be her her parka for Antarctica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is by Milan Kulik, and I really like the style of this. This is Scylla just hanging out, just a floating head. Um, with one of the little doggies in the bottom there, who actually resembles like a little a little eel or something. Um, I really like the style that you use. Just a very thick, bold line with a little bit of texture around the edges or waviness, if you will. Um, I absolutely yeah, love really well the little. The I little, think this might be MS Paint. Yeah, the little dog it head, is. dude. It's just adorable. Yeah. He's just like, hey guys, He's I'm so here. He's so cute. I'm just like right here. I think that was MS Paint. That's really cool. Good job. Uh, this one is by Parsa Masgat. Happy Killing by Loki. And I really like this style for Loki. I, I like how you exaggerate his little snake helmet that he has. Get, made it look almost like a T-Rex. Um, I really like this style. It's interesting. It, it almost reminds me of like maybe a stained glass type depiction of the god. Yeah, it's like very stylized. Ca kind of cartoony, mm -hmm. but also with a, yeah, yeah, like you said, kind of stained glass. Kind yeah, of it's just exaggerated. I like it. This one's by Peter Kochevsky, and it's my boy, Anubis. Anubis! Oh my god, he's awesome. And this is a very simple drawing. I think this is more like to resemble hieroglyph, possibly, where uh, they were on the side. They always show the profile of the gods or of the people, so I love this. And it looks... Uh, actually, what kind of paper did you use? Or what is that texture? Did you just like... It, it looks, looks like, like it's it might made be out of sand. It looks like clay. sand or stone. Or it looks clay. really cool. You're going to have to let us know because oh that's, that's some cool stuff. Is this on the side of the street with somebody putting down pavement and you just were like, just Anubis, like, right. YOLO. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get wreck. Got Either way. Coming in. I appreciate it. Guys, vandalism is great if it's smite related. So remember <laughs> All right. that. No. 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 <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do it, kids. Don't do it. Unless it's smite. Um, <laughs> this one's by Rocket Racer. And this is actually pretty cool. This is... um. A Poseidon, obviously, but he is controlling radioactive things. He's, and then you got a petroleum barge in the background there. Um, so it's it's kind of dark in a way. Like maybe this is the future Poseidon, where he oh, has that to was clay. The seas. That was clay. It was clay. Labyrinth. Okay, well, I great love job. It. Love it with clay. That's clay, that's cement, some good stuff. brick, whatever you want. 
It looks great. Hey, you can't get mad at us if, if, if you don't, like, give us exactly. the description in the piece. Gee. Yeah, gosh. Mm. I mean, you uh, see how professional we are This here. one is by Sarah Rudder, and it's Freya. It's cute Freya. Now, don't get us wrong, guys. Sarah Rudder has given us other pieces that are typically very cutesy, but this one's, like, even more cutesy. It has just been incepted to a whole different level of cutesiness. And I love it so much. She, like, took out the nose, squished down the face, made the eyes even cuter. I love this style. Good job, Sarah Rudder. Oh, we have uh, the, the last piece, the uh, Poseidon in the hazmat suit. Uh, we have them in chat, and they say it is part of an art project. Yeah? Well, I spent about eight hours on it. Did you did you do it in MS Paint? Because it looks like MS Paint. It looks impressive. And while you answer that, here is Sarah Rudder. Again, the second one that she did of Hell, Dark Hell. Oh, my God, I forgot for a minute. Oh, yes. man. Oh, whew, goodness. All right, and yeah, this is Dark Hell in the similar style, almost ultra chibi, and it's very cute. I love this. Good job, Sarah Rudder. As always. This one's by Sean, Sean Arnold, and this is, I don't know if it was taken from a past challenge where we've given uh, you guys where we told you. by the way. It was Illustrator? Yeah. Damn. That's Illustrator, good job. That is, uh, that's impressive, considering yeah. Illustrator is pretty difficult to like exactly. actually do painting in. But this piece is really impressive because you used Crayola crayons, which <laughs> to me are super difficult to draw with because they just, they, they grind down to like very, very flat surface. So it's very hard to get even smaller pieces. And this is a very small drawing. And it's Scylla, you've got Zeus, you've got Thor's hammer chilling there. I think that's Thor. You got Fenrir, and then you got Sylvanas and um, Grover up top. And it's meant to be almost like a, a Super Smash Brothers type format, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, actually it is. And I love this. This is great. Thank you so much, Sean Arnold. It's delightful. This next one is by Sean Jones. Sean, Sean Jones. And this is Hades. Hanging out. I love it. We've gotten so many traditional pieces this month, or this week, guys, and, and I can't be happier. I love traditional pieces. It's so much harder to get some stuff done traditionally when you don't have that easy access like to the eraser. Control Z. Yeah, like, control Z. Nope, so nope, this nope. is gorgeous. Thank you so much, Sean Jones. This one, I love this one. This is by Shodi Nakasima. Or Naka, yeah, Nakasima. I'm going to go with Nakasima. And it is Vulcan Tin Slash Train Man. I love this piece. This, this is, is actually insane. really great. This would be really cool skin because it's, it's perfect. He's yeah. got like the whistle, the whistles <laughs> up top as, in, as his turrets in place of his turrets. Actually, it would be amazing if one. it was Train Man because that way he when he fired his ult rather than missiles, they'd be just trains. Oh just my like, god. Choo -choo. Or they just slam into people. God, that's combining two very nerdy things. Smite and trains. Good for you, dude. And thank you for all the detail in it, too. Sorry we don't have time to go over all of that. Um, but this next one is by Tenebris Ebor. And I think it's his own personal design of Medusa, which you guys, I since I've started working here, I know that people are just obsessed with getting Medusa in the game. Yeah, it's so. pretty funny. But we love seeing your designs anyway. Till that day comes, if it even comes. Every time we get anyone who mentions add Medusa to the game, we actually extend really? the amount of time. By yeah, guys, one we patch. actually have like a full. So there's patch a huge. Yeah, so. it's it's ready. Like yeah, she's it's ready, ready to go. But it's been ship it, like but keeps, not really. keeps getting put off. Like it's probably we'll like two it. years out now because yeah. of all the times people requested it. I know, right? Jeez. This next one is by Timothy Borge. B Borg. 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 And this, I think, this is like a a little. Uh, drawing from a son to to his dad it says up up there it says, <laughs> love you dad happy birthday you are the best oh god family to dad this is so sweet i hope dad isn't bacchus oh god <laughs> <laughs> i hope not either either way you know do you think from lily to dad there oh from go. lily i said family <laughs> oh god i can't read but that's very cute thank you so much for that one this one is by Torgis Smestad Langfoss. Come on, people. That's a great name. Langfoss. Okay, moving on. Oh, someone um, asked earlier what program you use for your art. For me, I use Photoshop CS5 or 6. I'm not quite sure. Photoshop certain. to keep it simple. Yeah, just Photoshop, really. Just anything past C4 is good. Yeah. Um, I love this. I, I really hope that you didn't start with a full-length pencil and then, like, get down to that little whittled one, because, goodness. But uh, this is a uh, cool can. Cool, cool can. That's some heavy lines, though, yeah. for pencil. I like it. Good job. It really stands out. This one's by Walid Suari, and it's his own personal versions of Kronos, and then you've got Bakasura. The first one, you Kronos. Mean Gavin does. Gavin. <laughs> 
Be professional here. We're not trolling. Don't Jesus. even. Don't even get me started. Oh now. God. Hashtag Gavin is the worst. Anyway, um, this one's N Naturia Guardian Chrono Skin, and this is really interesting. It's almost combining Grover with uh, with Chronos. I like it. Instead of being mechanical, he's more nature, um, and I love it. It's really well done. And then over there we've got um, Death Machine Bakasura. And yeah, that was more mechanical. Yeah, because we currently have old Baka in his like in the old Baka yeah. form in the Death Machine. So Oh damn. He's oh yeah, that's right. His, that's right. Uh, his Death Machine version with the new Baka. Well, we love that. Thank you so much for that. This one again is by Walid Suhari, and it's another skin. It's Mecha Despair Scylla. This is really interesting and very creepy. She's saying, Let's play a game, please. In robot voice, so it'd be like, Let's play a game, please. That's actually terrifying. <laughs> We can dance if we want to. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, again. production, you want to just cut the mic next time she no. does it again? Just like <laughs> Come it on, out. they need to hear my dulcet tones. <laughs> um, this one is again by Walid Suari, and this is Warfighter on her skin. It's almost as if we have a countdown for how many he submitted. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, thank you for adding all the abilities that he would come equipped with. So, thank you for that. Good job, Walid. Oh, God, there's more? Yes. <laughs> This is, again, Walid Zuhari. Uh, he just gave us a whole batch of these. DJ this, Hun Beats. This is Hun Beats. I actually love that. DJ <laughs> Hun Beats. That is actually really awesome. And you supplied the abilities and everything, all the details, so thank you. This is really cool. I would love to see us do a skim like this, actually. His Hun oldest, Beats? Yeah, it's perfect. It's Are like you kidding me? A bunch of amps drop Hun down beats. and just like... Oh crazy beats party turn tables like turn your enemies around and yeah. disorient instead them. of fearing them they just all immediately start doing their dance animations turn down for what bam bam oh bam, right no oh. production okay i'm sorry mike oh there thank you there we go yes <laughs> darn it oh it's weekly whoa 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 Brat, brat. Okay, I'm done. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Okay. I love this. He drew our newest goddess, Mayan oh. goddess, Oelix, on top of her jaguar, Suku, Suku. coming in and bum rushing. Kabracken. Kabracken's just like, um, I'm a pea, actually. I am a giant vegetable. <laughs> I'm going to put this thing right here. He's like the green giant if he let himself go. <laughs> I love that if he's he got like, his, own his shield up. <laughs> Just this big fat green pea. Yeah, I know. He's just <laughs> holding on to it. And I love the out. Oh, thank you so much. You didn't draw any of his armor or anything like that. You just put a little belly button, <laughs> which is all you need. It's as if he's trying to change right? behind a shower curtain that is his shield. And Willix is like, let me, let, is me like, <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let me peep that. Let me peep that. Let me peep that. And Kabrakin's like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent job, Wiley. You always just make us so happy. This is all the time. Seriously, we need a T-shirt. Oh, guys, it has we've to be made violent, it. though. Oh yeah. Okay. okay, let's actually talk about these discussion pieces discussion before, pieces. or before we get into the actual pieces. Let's talk about uh, the winners and everything like that. Exactly. Because um, <gasps> here's the deal, and we recently realized that a lot of you guys are on the uh, Latin American servers, yes. and you're submitting pieces to the art show, which we love, by the way. Keep it yes, we coming, do. but. Uh, until we talk with our level up partners a little more, because they have their own art show running, we, yeah, we cannot do. actually supply you gems if you win ourselves. We have to go through level up to do that to get uh, you guys gems for the level up servers. So we're going to work on that so you guys can actually continue submitting and potentially winning gems. Exactly. So um, just until then, I've got your name. Everyone who's won, who's on a, a Lat LATAM server uh, that's owed gems, I, for I haven't forgotten you. Yeah, and how exciting is that, by the way, that in Latin America they started their own art show? Yeah, how yeah. awesome is that? They've got some really good stuff That's too. That's so cool, and you guys can find them on Twitter. I forget the name. I think just look for Level Up. Um, what is it? Um, Exposición Smite, or something like that. Don't don't look at me. That's 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 the actual name. But anyways, guys, I will post a link to it on my own Twitter if you guys are following me, or Gavin will post it on there, the Smite Art Show, and you guys can follow them. And it's really cool. For all you Spanish speakers out there, there is an art show in Espanol. Hola, what's up? Okay, anyway, moving on. Okay, production, I get it. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> They're like, we've had enough of you. <laughs> all right, guys, this is a top pick. You dicks! <laughs> Just screamed. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you know how usually you troll them? I think they're winning this one. Wow. They're, I am just really going to go one. in there and Sing kiss your heart them out. so hard because they're fantastic. Just okay. love them. So, oh, hey. 
Wait, which camera? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, this so one, let's guys. talk about a scene threshold. This is a uh, team. He, he usually does uh, 3D renders, but this is like a lay. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> they're fighting right now. Um. Yeah. No. W w yeah. This is a render. Yeah. So we except well, we have a Lego like themed one. I like it. Zeus is in his buff. Uh, I guess you can't really get the muscles look on it's a Lego okay. character very well, but I still love it. This is great. This is amazing. I actually feel like Asim, your style is perfect for these kind of Lego creations. Yeah. I I love this so much. It's so good, and I really hope that you decide to do more Smite Gods in this style and as Legos. And maybe one day we'll have our own Legos. One day. Oh, that would be so. God, that would be. Awesome. I could spend so much money. On oh that. God. Yeah, I would spend like two hundred something on yeah, that. Yeah, and you get one piece. Just well, <laughs> Legos expensive, that's true. man. That's true. I bought expensive. three Legos online, and that ish was fifty six dollars for three. <laughs> But don't worry, I love them to death. They're my babies. So good job, Asim Shrestha. That's very impressive. Okay, go ahead and say this name. Oh, no. Okay, this is... Trezessus Rooney. Boy, that last one is a doozy. This is really impressive. This is actually... I think this is origami, yeah. Yeah, it's like old Alcong origami. Old noodle origami. Very impressive, really. And I think it's just like all those little triangles that you would do, you would make to do like the little football. Oh, yeah, these are so, it's, this is so cool. It's got the, like, the yeah. sterliness of Al Kong. Oh. And it looks like it might be pretty big because as you can see down the bottom right, it's like that's a, a guitar yeah. um, thing. That so, is a sizable dragon. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. So thank you so much for this. All right, now Shrister get on updating him so he's Kukulkin. What? Get on updating him so he's Kukulkin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, do Kukul can. <laughs> and also paint it if you can. I feel, do some I feel so watch. bad if they, like, watch they watch. got started when they first started playing Al Kong. Yeah. They're like, oh yeah, this I'm going to make two this. Years. And then they make it and they're like, Kukul can came out the next Damn day. Just, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, but we love this. Very impressive. All right, guys, this is a perfect example of what we love to see from you guys for the challenge that we gave you. Uh, this is by Dragon Six Say Hero. Um, it's Ra on her Bastet and Anubis, and they're all related in their lore, so it's it's really relevant too. Mother of the Sun, what have I done? Says Ra. Um, Ra, would you control your children? Says, oh God, says Anubis. And <laughs> on her and Bastet are just fighting. They are fighting so hard. Dad till on he on he. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn. No, Father, she is lying again. Can you imagine it? Just you have to say it in his land. voice, like, no, Father. No, Father. She's she lying, lying again. These are like. Gro <laughs> 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 oh, Sorry, guys, we're getting uh, pretty trolled by production. <laughs> All right, and I get it together. We got this. I'm we crying. can finish this out. I'm crying right now. This next, oh this God. next piece by Emmanuel <laughs> Bernardo. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to know Hyra Stan a little bit too much just now. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, this is obviously a top pick by Emmanuel Bernardo. Um, it looks really cool. It's it's a Hun bots and um, I think he put like a really cool gradient to it or some sort of filter that makes it look really grainy. But um, I think it's maybe colored pencil uh, with marker. But the colors are so incredibly vibrant. It looks so amazing. And also we don't get a lot of Hun butts. So it's nice to get some of him. Get some of that monkey. Get some of that monkey, monkey. The hand is awesome, by the way. Yeah. That's why that's why we picked, like, b between the colors, just the, the look uh, and style <laughs> of this, the hand is on point, and hands get top picks. And will you just I'm sorry. get it together? I will never get that image out of my head, Dan. Oh, no. Um, but yeah, excellent job, Manuel Bernardo. And this is taken from the card art for Hun Butts. This one is, again, another perfect example of what we wanted you guys to do for the challenge. This and all the other ones we gave you. This is a whole bevy of different gods all together. And not just that. That's not the only thing that's really cool is the kind of perspective that you used, almost like a fisheye perspective. Uh, you have Zeus hanging out, you got Poseidon, Athena, Apollo, Nemesis, Ares, um, Hades, Aphrodite, Thanatos, and um, Artemis in the back there feeding some food to, to Tusky. And I love it. There's such a great dynamic. There's, yeah, piece. there's so many great things yeah. going on. Like You've you have Arachne as an actual spider. 
Oh yeah, she's like just Where chilling on the desk. Oh, I didn't see her. Just like yeah. Oh, and you also have Scylla and Kronos outside, which I'm wondering why are they outside? Because Scylla's a oh, monster, wait, and Kronos is like a primordial god. That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is Roman. This is Greek. A uh, Greek. Excuse Fool. me. Psh, my bad. Damn. Um, and you've got you've got such a great dynamic in these pieces, or in this piece. You have Athena and Ares fighting, which is very good because they're brother and sister. You got Nemesis laughing about it because she's soulless and evil. Um, and then you've got you've got all the uncles in there. Hades wearing a world's best uncle apron. Are you kidding me? Thanatos wearing... would also be the creepy uncle that's just like. Yeah. Hey, Aphrodite. Uh, hey. See you're uh, see you're older now. Girl, you're gonna make me die with how good you. <laughs> <laughs> And I love that Stop. she's she's being so modest. There's so much character and personality in all of these gods and all their reactions. You really did such a good job in in capturing that. Like Aphrodite holding a pillow up, being clearly uncomfortable. We're gonna have to talk about that. Um, Maybe for the next challenge, we do like an intervention piece for this guy. Oh God! <laughs> um, listen, Uncle Thanatos, we gotta talk. Aphrodite's got some. I issues. do love the Hades best, world's best uncle. Thing. I know, and that's the, just so I, fucking. My favorite good. part of that actually, what really makes it, isn't even the apron and the hand mittens and the, the cookies. It's the eyes. Look at the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> it's just like They're little like, itty bitty quiet eyes. I'm just here to serve you. Guys. Yeah, just like. I love all of you. I spent all this time baking <laughs> in the underworld just for these perfect cookies. For oh, these cookies are to die for. <laughs> okay, mute my mic, please. <laughs> please mute our mic. <laughs> And <laughs> thank, thank you, production. Excellent job, Gwendolyn. And that was a top pick for sure. This one's by Jelk Hingst, and it's um, Hercules Just yelling. Angry. It's because his beard's gone. It's because his beard's gone. Yeah, his beard's gone. It's like, where is my beard? It's like someone <laughs> shaved his beard in the middle of the night. Yeah. He's like, why? What happened? Um, this is definitely a discussion piece, guys, because it might be a nice segue to a different type of challenge we might give you in the future. We see a lot of you draw as gods um, that are like full body or their busts or something or just their faces, but not too much detail. So we would love for you guys to draw us gods with their features super pronounced, just insane detail. Take some drawings that you see online, some reference shots of angry poses or happy faces or whatever. And go ahead and do that with a drawing. Take your favorite god, maybe like Chabalanke or, um, I don't know, Aphrodite or something, and draw a close-up of their f war face, I guess. That would be a better way the of saying face. it. Draw well, their war face. Their game face. Their game face. Okay. But that's for later challenges. Don't focus on that. Focus on the holiday one. So. Yeah. Uh, this next one is a top pick, and it's by Carla Diaz. And it's this one. I This is my favorite Knox piece, actually. This is what I was talking about when it's black and white, and it just looks so much better when it's black and white. This is beautiful. Jack, calm down with the busts thing, all right? It's going to be okay. What? Draw their busts? Oh, get out of here, you, you pervs. <laughs> but yeah, draw their busts. They're big old personalities. <laughs> okay, Anna. Don't <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't condone this personality. Oh god, what's happening? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, production. I agree completely. <laughs> uh. But this piece is so gorgeous and probably the thing I really like about it is how you framed it. You framed it with the white space. Yeah. Um so it's it's messy. It's a messy border. It's gorgeous. And the detail on the cloth, that the drapes that are coming down as well and intertwining, it's amazing. I love it. And and the style, actually. Like, yeah, it looks like it might be the in-game um, style, but you can see, like, her face is much smaller. Uh, her neck is much smaller, too, so it's almost like an anime, very yeah, feminine style. Yeah, this is a style. recreation. And even if this was a few filters over the original piece, they had been, they took their hand to it personally because yeah. there are a lot of things that would have had to be, that the filter would not have been able to pick out as exactly. well as they did. I'm trying to figure out, on the screen it looks very pixelated, so it might be MS Paint, but on here it doesn't. So I'm trying to figure out the medium. Oh, no, that that's just did. because it's being scaled down and oh, then okay. blown up. All right, well. We're, pi we're terrible at this. Yeah, you guys are the worst. Um, so, excellent job, Carla. This one's by Kyle Kunz, and I love this piece. I love this. This is Awilix, and not in a very pixely fashion um, like he usually does. It's very similar to that nemesis he did earlier. It's more just flat line. Um, with a slight pixely look to it. Just a nice, no shading or anything like that. It's just flat colors. Almost MS Paint-esque. Again, the pixely look is probably our fault. Is it? You sure? Yeah, because yeah. we have to scale uh, these well, down no, to get them on the slides, bit. and then they get scaled up when they end up on the table. Oh, well. Excellent job, Kyle Coons. This next one is by Kylie Robson. Oh, oh my goodness. God. 
this is obviously his hot pick, guys. Look at this. If you guys remember the piece that she did uh, before, earlier in the show, it was really good. This is equally, if not even better. Sun Wukong, just chilling. About to bust some heads. Good job, Kylie Robson. My god, and I think you used marker. Marker and pen. So this is even more impressive, the fact that it's traditional. It's taking up an entire uh, sheet of paper. So, excellent job, Kylie. This next one, like I was saying, the new Thanatos skin that we're presenting to you guys is by Le Cheng Mei, who is known to draw very intricate, um, very flat line drawings of Thanatos, and she's really good at it. So this is excellent. My god. So detailed. Those so many feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Le Cheng Mei's been pretty, like, on point for kind of details like that. Yeah. Like, whenever uh, they do Kronos or... Thanatos, see, I covered both my bases there. <clears throat> like, they don't leave out any of the details on the feathers or on any of the cogs and gears or anything like that. It's uh, cool stuff. God, I hate you. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, yeah. guys. Sorry. Our show's still going on. You, Darn it! You can tell me how much you hate me <laughs> after the show, just like normal. Um, But excellent job, Le Chang Mei. I just love your style. You really just stick to it. Stick to that bold line with a lot of detail. Every single detail is outlined with a nice, bold line, so... Very nice job, except for the halo, but that's okay, because it's supposed to be glowy and crazy like that. So, This next one is by Michael Dean Ling, and it's of the uh, Apollo skin, of him being a spy, the spy Apollo skin. Um, and I th it obviously it's taken from the card art, um, but you kind of went over it with some pixely, it looks pixely, yeah. But just the way that you did it, in the background as well. I love the girl's face, I'm not sure who that's, who's that supposed to be. I have no idea. I don't know either, but I like We're the We're going to call it the handler. Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. It's the handler. But uh, this is excellent. I really like the composition and everything, and the rays going in through the drawing. That's really cool, too. So, good job, Michael Dean Lang. Killing it. This next piece by Perv Boy. Perv Boy. Such a beautiful piece for such a strange name. Truly. Uh, I love this because it is a super crazy awesome Fenrir. So yeah, it's it's the uh, the Arctic Fenrir uh, card art, and then they just kind of went yep. nuts on it with colors and and just taking the shading. And we have another artist who does that same kind of concept, except I think they use watercolor. Yeah. We we gave them top pick. Yeah, you know. Yeah, what it's know? Justin McClanahan. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right, wow, she had this look on it. her face like she didn't even know what I was talking about. She was, no, I was clearly waiting. I was just waiting. ready. She was ready. I was just waiting. I was a setup, guys. Uh huh. You know it. Um, I love this piece though. I I just love that you added some color to it instead of just black and white. You made it some green. So and also that's like one of my favorite cards because I love werewolves and Fenrir is just the closest I'll ever get to a werewolf in game. So. Uh, fantastic, Perv Boy. Perv Boy. <laughs> Such a good name. This one is Janus by Silver Cloud. And this is just super cute. It's a holiday Janus, if you can tell. It's really adorable. He's got like a little scarf going. He's got a Santa Claus hat. Um, he's got a fantastic Doors <laughs> sweater on. Oh, it's so cute. And the little glowy bits of him, where he's supposed to be glowing blue, are glowing Christmas colors. So gold, uh, green, and red. And I love this. And he's got the little um, the lights spiraling down his legs. This is so cute. And a cane in place of his, uh, his key sword, if you will. So I love this. I, this is pretty much exactly what we want you guys to do and to add on for the holiday challenges. So good job, Silver Cloud. This next one is and the, the last, last one. Oh yeah. yeah. This is the last piece by Unusual Pie. And he did this via phone, if you can tell up there. He said yeah. it. And this is old Bakasura. Oh what's Yeah, it's, up? it's this I'll is great too. <laughs> I love his pose. I'll he's just kinda boy. like me. Yeah, he's just I'm ready to go. You. And this is super pixelated, um, but it's so great. I love the the composition of the piece because then you have like the shadow or not the shadow, the reflection in the bottom, so it makes it fancier instead of it just being like a flat pixel image on white background. So this is insanely good. I love this. And the teeth and everything are just simple little rectangles. Yeah. Good job, unusual pie. Sharp little rectangles. You know what isn't unusual? Your awesome talent. Oh, snap. Okay. All right. Hey, guys. We're back. Sup? And you have to look at us again. Yeah. Mm. You like that? Yeah. Wait. Can you, like, no one can see that. No one can. Wait. You can kind of see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry, everyone. It's 
turn it on a little bit. But yeah, guys, that <sighs> was uh, the community art, and we really hope that you guys enjoyed all those pieces and you enjoyed us showing off your pieces if you submitted them. Um, remember that the challenge is ongoing till after New Year's. So it's pretty so much Tuesday of next week. Oh, yeah. no, it's after, no, after New Year's. After New Year's. So okay, well then. Jeez, how specific. I was like, two how weeks. Do you know? Yeah. All right, so. so don't forget that SmiteShop.com has a uh, T-shirt contest going on for you guys. Check that. Oh, no, I'm, I give up. Wait, wait. I, I was doing it really. Oh well, no, it's in front. Ugh. There it is. Okay. I dropped Go it. there, check it out. Uh, SmiteShop.com. Uh, they have uh, T-shirts and stuff. Uh, T-shirts. But mostly stuff. they have a contest rolling for you guys where you can win cash money in <gasps> gems. Cash, cash money. money. And gems. Stop. No. So yeah, guys, go to that. It's really fun. And um, yeah, remember the challenge. You can do holiday sweaters, greeting cards, um, family all together, um, just smite stuff with Thanatos Christmas creeping on crap. Aphrodite. For, yeah, you could have like Aphrodite on a bed of peppermints, like a la, a la American okay, beauty no, keep style. Okay, it, no, keep it PG, Kids guys. watch that movie. It's okay. Please. We've, we've, got, <laughs> we've already drifted so far into the yeah, not PG. That's with true. Pointing any fingers. But Look, you can't see fingers. anything. You can just see his face. So, but Bye anyways, guys. guys. Thank you so much for joining us this week. We'll see you next week, Tuesday. Don't yeah. forget it. Can't wait. I can't wait to see you so much. And it's going to be great. We'll I see miss you next already. time. You're so good. I hate Gap.